Hello everybody and welcome back to Half-Life. I am here again, of course, with Never Named. And we are Ready? about to get into it. We're on the current on the rail part of the game, so let's go yes, for it. Yes, everyone's, everyone's favourite chapter on a rail. Well, that's a great start. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened there. <laughs> My god, what the you really, fuck? You really suck at this game. Uh, interact with the... Uh, Make it go faster. So I, I somehow unlocked my position while still having it move, which is strange. And then I yeah, walked into can... that corner and died. You can do that. You can walk around on it while it's moving without being in direct control. So the gimmick of on a rail is that you're heading through these train tunnels, and it is it's one of the easiest chapters to get lost in. Ah. So be <laughs> be aware. Okay, that's, uh, considering how lost I've gotten thus far, that's... Did not mean to do that. Don't worry, there's ways out of all these puddles. Yeah, they Got anticipated them. that people would fall off the train, and the train isn't gone forever, it's probably stuck somewhere or looping around I kind of forget that all these enemies fight me. Stop making that noise. Oh, it's these dudes. That was, yeah, it wasn't me. Oh my god. Hello. There it is. What you want? You're trying to get yourself run over. Okay. Oh my god. And you can, of course, stop the train at any time. How? <laughs> Interact with oh, it and go, lower the go. speed to zero. So, if you go along the rail, you'll see these uh, signs with arrows on them. Might well you, you might want to duck under that. I gotta say. Yeah, you'll see these red signs with yellow arrows, like the one that's up ahead. If you shoot them, it changes the track direction. Let's see. So, that track's heading straight ahead, but if you shoot the uh, Ah, I didn't realise that signed. was hurting me. <laughs> oh yeah, the rails are electrified. I, I kind of thought that, but yeah. So, do I... Could've just, oh, God. could have just taken the, the train off. I, w I didn't want to have to deal with that wire. What do you mean, deal with it? <laughs> just crouch under. Like, set the train going and... I did it. Boom. Yeah, so now the, uh... thing's heading in that direction. But there's a crane in the way, so... I gotta get up there somehow. Okay, okay. Yeah. You can run this chapter on foot uh, if you find the train to be a bit of a hassle, though. Just, again, don't step on the, uh, the rails. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go have a little explore. But yeah, I can definitely see why you said you can get easily lost here. This definitely seems like easy getting lost territory. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, ironically, on a rail is one of the easiest chapters to get lost. Yeah, you wouldn't think so with a name. Um, right. Oh, I, can't, I can't jump over those very easily. Okay. Uh, oh no, yeah, that that ball boy is still there. <laughs> well, no, now. not anymore. <laughs> He's dead now. Yeah. There oh, are also helpless. supplies. Oh, God damn it! I keep hitting it by accident. There you go. Thank you. Also, oh, little. Yeah, there are little supply alcoves dotted around. Okay. Let's keep and it's going. only the middle rail that hurts you. Yeah, I thought it was. Oh, that was an explosion where I just came from. What the heck? Just happened. It's probably a result of the building falling around uh, apart around you. Ah, uh, of course, we're escaping at the minute, aren't we, sir? Yeah, because you're in the middle of an alien apocalypse. Okay, right. Found relatively nothing so far. Can't jump over this for some heckin' reason. There you go. Three. So yeah, somewhere around here there's a way to get up and remove that crane. Okay, god damn it, I cannot jump over this fucking rail. Um, so it's probably... Oh my god. I'm so, I'm so bad. Welcome to rail land. No, no, you did. Oh my god, it's health. Holy, what the hell? 
remember uh, flashlight with S. Yeah, keep forgetting that. My god, this is a miracle. What's a 47 HP? Anything up in that bit there? The light. Just a oh. lamp. Probably just get out of my crowbar, right? Oh yeah. my, no, I should not have done that. You don't need to use bullets to deal with those turrets. Uh, if, you, if they catch you in close quarters, it's honestly easier to just use the crowbar. Yeah. Give him the good old whack. Let's go! Okay, so first small puzzle complete. We are doing well, we are doing well. We're on a roll. Or, on, on a, a rail! rail. Uh, oh my god, hello. I'm like fucking not oh. met. That's an elevator. Once the train is fully on that circular patch there, it will start to rise up. Is there a reason why I exploded? Did I love a grenade at me or something? There are angry men with grenade launchers attacking you. Oh my you. fucking hell, this is insane. It's <laughs> just annihilate me. That was the other one, mate. What in the shit is this? <laughs> I can Angry barely survive. with grenade launchers and you only have half health. Yeah, this isn't going to work out very well, is it? We're going to be here a while. You could also uh, do the little bitch strategy and try to just duck into some of their cover. Good. <laughs> there is a ladder if you want to just let the train go up without you. Go at your own pace. Why, sir? Why? Yay, it's health. See? <laughs> I, can't, I honestly kind of fell off into this bit. I didn't really mean to do that. It oh, worked out pretty uh, well. grenades on that crate. I think I'm full on grenades, to be honest. Yeah, I am. No, uh, uh, rifle grenades. They're like second uh, fire. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, I've got two of those now. What the f- Are you kidding me? The marines will lob grenades at you. It, it's kind of their thing. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> like... F6. F6 is your friend. Oh, do you know what? That is where I've been going wrong. I completely forgot to do that. Okay, get away from me, speech bitch. Yeah, yeah I've things been are typically a lot easier that. when you save. That's been the main no problem here. <laughs> you will get used to it. I will. Like I said, I'm an avid Skyrim player, and that's kind of like one of the, the big things in that game. You have to constantly be saving. Get gone. That, uh, there's a gun there, a uh, stationed gun. If you interact with it, you can use it. Holy fucking hell, I don't think I'm gonna have the ability to actually get over to it. Oh wait, they're all dead, no? Well, it looks like they're currently in combat with the... Yeah, this gonna be really, them. Really tough. Oh my god, I have way too little health for this. Yeah, this is gonna be so tough. It happens. Trust me, uh, you'll get better at, you know, ducking out from behind cover as you play the game more. You go away as well. On the bright side, if there's any marines, they'll be clearing each other out. So remember you... when I told you grenade physics were kind of fucky? Yeah. <laughs> I just threw it and my guy was like, I don't have arms. What are you talking about? Arms? Also, Never heard of them. Uh, a well, a well-placed, um... Magnum shot will kill Vort uh, the the Vortigaunts and the Marines. Nice. Nah, okay. You camping little fucker. <laughs> yeah, they do that. Yeah. So headshots with the takes two body shots to kill. Uh, Vortigaunts and Marines, and one headshot. Boom. Save. Fuck you. <laughs> um, headshot. My god. 
This has been a tricky one. Yeah, but, you know, we've just started, so you're going to be a little bit rusty. Did not expect that to have such a big explosion radius. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> don't forget the angry man that's right there because you yeah, killed all his friends. I double shot them then. The movement is very nice, though, for, like, ducking behind cover in this game. Very it's fluid. very fast. Gordon Freeman is a nimble boy. He is. He got those legs. Yeah, then let's... I... Excuse me. Not the deal. Yeah, uh, if you were listening, they actually do talk to each other as well. Yeah, that, that dude, before he ran out, yelled, uh, Squad, get Freeman, take cover. <laughs> In just the most muffled voice possible. I right. mean, it was the late 90s. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, God. Uh, sometimes when loading an area, standing on diagonal geometry, you can get stuck like that. So... That, that's just something that sometimes happens. Sometimes crouching fixes it. I had to restart that because I was going to die. Right, uh, F6, there you go. Why, why does it do that? <laughs> it doesn't let me fucking jump over the stupid shit. You Fuck have you. to commit to a direction. I'll just kill me. Just kill me. Thank you. Jump! Yeah, jump oh my fuck. <clears throat> Okay, yeah. It, jumping off those part ridges is admittedly very difficult because you don't have a lot of not work. room for the run up. You don't have a lot of room to run to get me momentum. It's so even though you you feel like you're pressing jump while you're still on the thing, more often than not you press it like one or two frames after you're already falling off the edge. Medic. Excuse me. Medic, what for? You're all fine. <laughs> Exploded a little bit away from them, so they still took damage, but it didn't kill them. These guys. My god, grenades. You're just having the worst luck today. Just, they're just stupid. Also, why did it save? I have two HP. Uh, why did it save? Probably level transition thing. Stop aiming at his body. I want to aim at his head. Thank you. My Rail. fucking life. You just got railed, boy. <laughs> this is... This is uh, fucking you, horrible. Uh, if you pause, if you pause... I can load my... Uh, oh, load, I, didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Load game. Quick. Uh, on a rail, quick save. So that'll be the last quick save you made. God damn. Fucking... Yeah, it does... It it stores auto saves, quick saves, and manual saves completely separately. Good. So, um, you can have an unlimited amount. Fuck off, <laughs> you stupid cunt! They're good Dude. at what they do. So yeah, you can have an unlimited amount of manual saves, which is where you, you know, open up the pause menu and click save and whatever. Uh, you can have one quick save, which is with the uh, hotkey, and you can have some auto saves, and they're I all. Separate. So. I'm fucking hating this stupid loading zone bullshit. It, it keeps getting me killed because I keep trying to move to shoot him and it fucking loads. Stop. When you're having trouble with an area, something I find helps is kill one guy, save, kill another guy, save, so that you're still making progress. So, like... You whip out your magnum, shoot one of them in the head, save, and then even if you die, you've still got one down, you know? It's something I find helps with areas where you're struggling. Which will happen in a difficult Fucking game. go away, you cunt. My goodness. Save, that was save, brutal. save. I don't really want to save I with this low HP, to be honest. Well, it's better than fighting them again. Game's fucking brutal. 
yeah, the game is, uh, it, it eats ass and shits fury. Why are these fucking zappy boys not shooting any of the enemies? Fucking shoot him, he's right there! <laughs> Grenades are difficult to use. Also, they weren't shooting them because you interrupted them. Enemies will, oh. uh, you know, do stuff. That was close. Okay, I'll cover you. you scared the shit out of me. Yeah, he's a friend. Friend. Friend boy. I'm just hiding behind some he's boxes. And, you know, a barricaded door that you destroyed. I fucking was expecting that bullshit. Yeah, Next to my trophy room. Yep. <laughs> now save again if you don't want to have to go through the trouble of rehealing if you die. Again, it might seem annoying if I have to keep reminding you, but no, it's, you, it becomes you second nature after a while. You definitely should. You definitely should. So you can't really hit those guys from the front, you need to get around the back. It's easiest to deal with them with a grenade. One of the few times when grenades are advisable. So they're, they're protected on all sides by sandbags, but the easiest way is to get a grenade round the back. Wow. Yeah, that works. Yep, also there's graffiti <laughs> on the wall. Surrender Freeman. Oh my god. <laughs> they can't even spell. God damn. Alright, where the hell are we going now? Whee! Big boom. Was this where, like, uh, where flashlight? Perhaps? Because I can't see what's going on. I no, think there is a way to open that blast door, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> I'm so helpful. I know. I didn't hit you. Shut up. Well, you did smack his hitbox, and he did take damage. But remember what I was telling you before about how they can be forgiving if you don't yeah, hit them yeah. head on. That's what helped you out there. Okay, so. What have oh, I think we you learned? need to take the. I think you need the train with you. Actually, I think I do. Yeah, so I was just thinking myself. Fortunately, it won't have gone anywhere. It'll just be where you left it, even that through loading. Oh, the explosion radius and those massive. It's a bomb. Bomb. Right, one, one minute. Just need to pause one sec. Okay, we are back. Let's go, go, go. Okay, so I heard a bunch of shooting going around here. That's where it is. Okay. Yeah. So, on the bright side, going through manually and clearing out all this stuff uh, means that you won't have to do the fights while actually on the train itself. <laughs> That is going to be a huge positive, yeah. Yeah. So, there were a lot of features. Like, enemies don't respawn. But Newell, Gabe Newell of Valve, he wanted to make a system that could make enemies respawn. But it was the dumbest system you could imagine. <laughs> really? He wanted... Oh. Uh, he's talked about this. What, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, we don't, we don't talk about missing, uh... It's fine, like, when you're here, but then, ooh. It, We don't talk about that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, some part of the geometry has apparently decided to disable its renderer. Oh, no, no. But yes, uh, Gabe knew while we are on this lovely train ride, he wanted to make levels repopulate themselves over time by procedurally calculated entity breeding. Oh my god. <laughs> like, he wanted the aliens to fuck. <laughs> Which was ridiculously complicated and 100% not worth the time and effort of programming it, so they didn't do it. Yeah, uh, I may have been wrong about the train. <laughs> uh, go back to those blast doors. It's one of those points where I remember, maybe there's something up in the rafters you can do. I gotta say, I thought you can so, climb you can up, get up there, but it was just ammo up there and that was it. Crouch jump? Yeah, take a look around. Oh wait, you, uh, you blew up those... 
those mines, was there a, uh, a thing between those sandbags over there? Nothing here. And nothing hmm. on the other side of it, either. Curious. This is a bit confusing. See, uh, this is one of the points on Honor Rail where I get stuck every time. Yeah, like, it's just not clear at all what you're meant to be doing. I'm gonna say, I was saying it last time in the last, uh, the last recording session, but it is just one of those things that, like, old games just did not give a shit about helping the player. They are just like, we made the game, we understand it, fuck you. Like, if you don't mm. get it, tough shit. So, uh, just doing a bit of looking into it. Oh, uh, you just have to approach the doors. Really? Are you- They, they open, they open on their own. <laughs> Fucking kidding me? <laughs> they call it Half-Life because it takes at least 30 years off your life. <laughs> I'd recommend not falling down the elevator yeah, shaft. I that say could that cause also a se good recommendation serious a... hazards such as injury or death. Yeah, very serious bodily yeah. harm. It's not even complicated, but it's one of those things where it's, it's just not really clear that they work that way. I think it's one of those things as well where when you come back to these games after this much time, games have evolved so much to like be more easily understood and to help the player that things like this just seem so far away from what we're used to that it's hard to even imagine. Yeah. Yeah, like that's that's stupid. That's so bizarre. Like in a in a in a modern game, that this would never be the way to solve this. Anyways, now we can proceed. We can. Also yes, you're fighting around a rocket ship. Nice. I like that. New train. New train. Away from, uh, away from old train. Did we name the train? We should have named the train. Should we name that way one. we could feel bad when it died, or you know, was left behind. This one's like I don't know, like fucking Gloria. Gloria the train. Gloria the train. Yeah, you know, best-selling the children's train book, nineteen behind. Nineteen eighty-four. So, turrets. But because me. you, because yep. you didn't hit the uh, tripwire, the turrets didn't activate. So. Nice. That was close. Yeah, there's a missile headed towards your face. That man exploded. He just exploded. I don't even know how that happened. He's not having a very good day, is he? No. <laughs> oh my god. That's all the boys. He was just inspecting the train tracks. Uh, so... The Half-Life games, uh, in particular the first handful, because there are actually a lot of Half-Life games, um, people always joke about not making Half-Life 3, but there's actually way more than three Half-Life yeah, games. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that there aren't, th like, there isn't one numbered three. Yeah. Because yeah. you have... There isn't a, a sort of a... Define third entry, but there is a third entry. Yeah. So you have this one, Half Life, the original. You have Half Life Blue Shift, which is a it's it's um a shorter sort of I guess you'd call it an expansion sort of thing, even though it is its own game. But uh, oh, uh, yeah. Now you get to use satchel charges. Nice. So. 
you left click to throw the satchel charges and if I recall correctly right click to detonate them so you can make traps and stuff nice wait have we, have we lost Gloria already or is this Gloria I think, we've uh, lost Gloria I think that already. other rail heads back to Gloria if you want to you know bye I'm not sure if I'm meant to be going this way, but I'm going to head this way anyways. Who knows? I actually think this might, rail might take you some... Uh, I don't think you're meant to be on this rail, I'll be frank. Oh no, this is the correct way. Also, uh, enemies, you really want to take cover here. Yeah, there's one of those dickheads who's uh, behind sandbags. And it's actually really difficult to get that grenade placement right, so well done on you for uh, I'm gonna say, getting it I, first try. I'm very proud of myself for getting that as well. I remember one point where I was stuck here for quite a while because no matter how many grenades I threw, they all landed in exactly the wrong place. So they just missed him every time and he kept on killing me. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, good on you for actually I say, making I got a nice first skill try. throw in there, that was good. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Uh. Anyways, what was I talking about? The Half-Life games. Uh, oh yeah, there's Blue Shift, which is a sort of side story to the original that uh, follows the... Uh, follows a security guard on the day of the incident. Oh, that's a pretty cool idea. Wait, am I... Wait, wait, wait. wait. I believe that you can take the... A train elevator or take the elevator here. It doesn't okay. matter. It's just for in case you left the train behind. I oh, here would like be a good place idea. to use your satchel charges. So, uh, you could send one up in the elevator. Wait, did I throw it? Oh yeah, I did it. So head on down and once you're out of blast radius, use a satchel charge and it'll clear them out. That's a cool idea, yeah. Yeah, that's how I always clear this section, because it's... I think there are more enemies flanking the cart as you move up. Yeah, because there was a guy there, but blowing up the crates blew him up too. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, there's more enemies flanking the cart there, so it's a lot easier to go up the side. Mm. So, yeah, there's Blue Shift, which follows a security guard. There's Half-Life Opposing Force that is played from the perspective of one of the... U.S. Marines, or not Marines, uh, HECU. They're they're basically like Marines, but for sci-fi bullshit. Yeah, there's, no get... that... yeah, there's no way to turn that. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna. There's no way to turn that off, but uh, you can time it so that you don't take damage. Yeah, I did it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, that that wasn't terrible. <laughs> Lost a lot of health, yeah. but. Survive. Things are a lot easier to tank when you don't have three health. Mm. What? Why are you in a box? It was an ambush. He was hiding. In a box. <laughs> okay, so yep. this this time let's make sure to just shoot the fucking things. Uh, you have five grenades, by the way, in your gun, so... So you can use those to easily dispatch groups of enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always find that the, the gun secondary grenades are way easier to use than the... Oh, uh... yeah, they seem it, definitely. Also, I think there might be turrets in this area. I'm accepting of dying here. Please, please kill me. I, I lost a lot of health to something, and I really shouldn't have. Yeah, I think you got crushed by one of the crates. I think I did too. Yeah, so... Opposing force takes the role of one of the, you know, one of those guys, one of the hazardous environment combat unit, which are basically uh, marines for when shit's so fucked up we don't know what we're fighting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and honestly, I would say opposing force is genuinely, oh no, this is the part with the turrets. So, opposing force is very good. Very, very good. Um, then you have Half-Life Decay, 
which was a console exclusive expansion to Half-Life, which was co-op mode. Intriguing. Um, that you can't, like, get anywhere online. But, uh... Okay. You wanted to go careening off that cliff. Don't even lie to me. I really did. Really did. Okay, so I've got to go down and then bring up the yellow bear, I see. Yeah, so... So there's going to be turrets in this room. Just be careful. He passed. Good. They were a bit spooky. I've not seen one of them in a while, so that kind of scared me. Hmm. A well-placed uh, shotgun blast can kill a turret easily. That did a good enough job for that. Uh, right, how am I fixing this, or have I just broken it? I think you have to continue on foot. Ah, this is uh, like a stopgap where you have to. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's why the sides are, uh, are nice and wide. Because <laughs> they actually mean for you to be walking on them this time. Yeah. I did kill him, nice. Shit. Yeah, so Decay is very interesting. It's one of the few Half-Life games I've never played because again, uh, it's designed it. for console. it's designed it's designed for co-op and you need a console like version of I think it was like a specific console too that it was for. So the only real way to play Decay these days is um, fan-made mod ports. Ah, are, are any of those any good? Uh, I don't know. I've never tried them. Self. Okay. Listen. Ugh. <laughs> they were gonna have some dialogue that was interesting and you killed them. <laughs> Listen. Boom. Crap. See, now these door blast doors don't open when you walk into them, so... See? Game. You can't... No. For one, you've just got duplicated texture that's one door. All... No. You can't have one door that you just walk into and it opens and another one have a keypad. Makes no fucking sense. But this is the rocket control area. Remember you were sent here yes. to send a rocket up because the Lambda Lab need it to try and contain whatever the hell's going on. Also, you haven't used one of those guns yet if you interact with them. They're pretty strong. But you killed everyone already, so you don't need to use it. Nice. And then this one's just game. Fix your consistency, please. <laughs> this is some bullshit yeah. right now. Oh, God. So, in this area, you can't set off any explosives. Because it's rigged with so much explosives that if one goes off, everything goes off, and the building gets blown sky high with you inside it. So this is about avoiding setting anything off. There'll be more areas like that a bit Fuck, later. Fuck, I fell out the fucking doors, God damn it! Yeah, this is just a sort of first taste of what it's Let's like. out my shotgun. I didn't I sign on that. for this. I like this area of the map. Launch. Let's go. Bye! God bless America. Very slow rocket. <laughs> 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 Bye! It's gone now. So yeah, um... 
So outside of the main one, uh, blue shift, uh, opposing force, and decay, I'm just gonna think of what else you have. He's dead. Don't molest the corpse. Tries to be here anymore. I don't think I do, do I? Nope. You've uh, achieved what you wanted to in this area. Nice. So heading back, a new entrance should open to allow you through it. Just have to get back out through here. God damn it. Why is the music playing now? Oh, the stairs are slippy as shit! Who fucking rubbed butter on all these stairs? The Black Mesa Butter Initiative, Gordon. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, if you head back through here... Ah, that door's open Yeah, now. those doors have opened. And then I'm guessing eventually those doors will open. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, there's oh, a sniper in this oh. area. <laughs> Kill yeah. me, please. Those those things <laughs> up there that are really well camouflaged are military sniper nests. Cheeky you can bastard. kill the snipers. You can kill the snipers, but you need to get a grenade into their nest. Don't know me. I love my grenades. This has got a nice lot more tree. cover than the normal ones, so I'm scared. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of combat in this, is there? Just fucking just in the shit. Just destroyed that man. Okay, but I wasn't yes. expecting this. They rigged it to blow and send you into a flooded area of the facility. Yeah, guessing I'm not meant to go this way. Nope, you're not gonna let me in, are you? That's just oil or something. Hmm. There's a door up there that's just oh. difficult to see because it doesn't oh, appear okay. above the water. Any health you lose while underwater, you will slowly yeah, regain. Yeah, I remember you saying that before. Resets. I just noticed that. Okay, so what? What the hell? Where am I going? There is a puzzle in this area to try and get across to the other side. My small brain does not understand it. The only thing it I has can to maybe do with... think is the explosives down here. But for some reason I can't You shoot. can't use most of your guns underwater. I believe the uh, pistol is an exception. That hurt me. God. These things even blow up or am I just dumb? Things There's a done. lock on the, uh... Mm, that was not clear at all. I see. Again, it's one of those things of, like, because the texture doesn't stand out, it's really hard to notice that that's meant to be the thing you're interacting with. Yeah. So the pistol is weak as shit, but one of its benefits is that w it works underwater. Yeah, sounds really useful. Oh, it'll be more useful than you know, so... Oh god, it's gonna be some really heavy underwater combat then. Hmm. You're now on the other side of that dividing wall. What am I doing now? Do I just gotta jump down here, I guess? Yeah. You were on the side with the barrels earlier. So, now you're in a new place. Go away, little fishies. Also, those doors on the side you can interact with and open. Do that next time. I am dying quick. Uh, this room. This room has air. This room has air? No, the uh, the room you were just in. Oh, it does. Really not clear. Well, genuine, uh, <sighs> generally, when you see that sort of muddy... Uh, texture, it means that that's where the water ends, so. Okay. 
Good yeah, drowning is only really dangerous when you're in the process of drowning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after, um... The fuck was that? So you have Half-Life, then you have Half-Life 2. Yeah. Then you have Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Then Half-Life 2 Episode 2, I've already explained to you how they fit into things. And for people watching, by the way, we will be playing Half-Life 2, do not worry. Yeah, we're, we're playing Half-Life 1 because I'm a uh, stinky, stinky purist. And also, I've not played either Half-Life, so yeah, probably worth playing I'm a, I'm a stinky, stinky purist who thinks that uh, the best way to experience Half-Life 2 is by having played Half-Life 1 first. Well, I'm guessing I need to kill this thing before I start moving. That's the Ichiosaur, and you could try and kill it now, but... There's a easier way to kill it if you proceed. Um, I don't know how to proceed. It's a, literally oh. a doorway. <laughs> okay, I see it. <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh, hello. You're alive. They said it was hauled from the Challenger Deep. Sorry, dude. I can't hear you. I'm using the HEV machine. He was saying, that. yep. Nice. Gotta shoot it with a trank gun. Oh. oh, hello. Did not expect this to happen. Oh, where is it? I got bit by it, but I don't know where it is. Something you'll soon learn about these, these things is that they are far more agile underwater than you are. Um, I don't think this thing's working very well. I'm getting absolutely nope. torn to shreds. And I don't know how uh, to get out of this water. The crossbow is, um, one of the other guns that works underwater. And it's just a genuinely a very powerful weapon anyways. Um, oh yeah, with uh, right click you can enable a scope mode. Essentially the crossbow is your sniper weapon. Yeah. Right, can I actually kill this thing with this here, or is it completely Yes, worthless? you can. You can kill that thing. And you you don't need to kill it to proceed, but it becomes a lot easier since you don't have to dodge it. Because the way to proceed is underwater. Come here, you big fat fish. But again, it doesn't really like to bother with you unless you're in the water, so... It's hard to kill. That did not work either. Fucking, the water texture's a pain in the ass. Okay, I think I killed it. I think it's dead. It's dead, you killed it. Even though if it tried to stand up straight for a second. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm guessing I need to interact with this bubbly boy. Yes. So that's why killing it was uh, the best option. Because you wanted to open that gate. That's close. I'm only on 3 HP. <laughs> that was a little, a little bit close. Yeah, you don't need to open the gate all the way. You can open it halfway and then duck under. If I just point. realized that it started closing, honestly. I, didn't, I thought I had to open it all the way. Yeah. Did I get that off so, no, Yeah, the crossbow is your sniper weapon. If you're low on health and there's just an enemy in the distance that you really don't want to deal with, just take him out. Yeah. It does a lot of damage and will generally kill most things. Hello. I love you. Barnacle. Get over barnacles. I love barnacles. I've never regret designing them yet. Um. Okay. That wasn't as scary as I think it was meant to be. You were confused, though. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm on 5 HP again. Wet floor. Yeah, I mean, they don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> just a bit of wet floor. I love the way that the wet floor is just like a pane of glass that's been put on the floor. 
Ooh. Yeah, um, fluid text just went that great. Oh god, that bro. Hello. Give me another big boy, isn't that? Yep. I knew it. Not fuck's sake, climb it, you bastard. Is it meant to be a really hard jump? It is Am a I bit of a stupid? tricky one. Oh my god, stop! It's it's best to try and on this jump, you're you're hitting the sloped geometry of the edge and it's pushing you off because you keep going forwards. Try and just sit on the edge. When once you hit it, just stand there. Nope. <laughs> uh, also, uh, I believe it's either F seven or F eight or F nine. One of those keys auto loads your latest quick save. Oh, you bitch! Try it. F7. Pleasant noise. F seven. Okay, go. Good. So, if you quick save before something difficult that doesn't that won't kill you, you can. How am I gonna make this? I can't, I'm guessing I can't. I guess we gotta go through here. Mhm. Mm that wasn't that bad. Oh god, one of these little things is gonna kill me, isn't it? Yup. On one HP. They want to eat your ass. Oh, it's it's the boy. Hello. I saw him. I saw you Here there, G-Man. Here comes the boy. The boy. Ammo. Oh, okay. For help. That depresses me deeply. That's okay. You're gonna fall down like a, a one foot drop and it's gonna just destroy you. I gotta uh, say, there's a control. What? Control panel. Where? Yeah, the, the big red button. Ah, oh, yeah, again, it's super hard to realize if anything's an actual interaction. Or not. Oh, I didn't expect that guy to be the bomb that fucking lad that scared the shit out of me. Hello there! Yeah, and uh, in more recent news regarding Half Life games, there's been Half Life Alex, Valve's VR title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say I had that. I had half my heart. I like to play it as well. Yeah, I haven't played it myself because I don't have VR, but I've, I've seen a lot of footage of it and it's fucking amazing. Yeah, oh my god! Jump, you little cunt! <laughs> well, the thing with this is that there's a. Uh, you know, the top thing is coming back down on you at the same time, so you got to time your jumps so that you don't bump your head on it, but can still make it to the next one, you know? And then the slightest maybe, fall and I fucking maybe die. Maybe save. Maybe save once you've set it all up and killed everything. Such a pitiful, sad noise. God damn, this thing takes a lot of reload. Oh yeah. You killed it with the first shot, and you just just took a while to fall over. I think that's just a head grab. Yeah, I gotta say, it's still the most <laughs> dangerous thing in the world to me. I got one HP. Fair, fair. Oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, there's actually quite a large amount of Half-Life games. Yeah, it sounds it's like just, it. It's just, there's, there's never been, like, a definitive third in the mainline series, which is why, you know, people ask for Half-Life 3. I think it's mainly because they just know that Valve isn't capable of counting to three. I mean, Half-Life is one of the things that made that meme. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Safe. Good idea. Very much need some HP though, please. Oh, thank god. You cunt of a game. <laughs> Remember what you said about camping?
cheeky bastard. That bull squid was just camping the first aid. God damn it. Right. Oh. That was scary. Right. We're looking good. Ish. Yeah, you know, you're doing very well for someone who's... Gordon Freeman, it is you, isn't it? The science team has been Are you all right, man? ...with the Black Mesa security system. Unfortunately, so is the military. Are you okay? I'm meant to be going anywhere here, so I don't... Oh, there you go. Yeah, from the dock. Yeah, Thank you. I can go open stuff for you. Oh yeah, that room is very cold, so you have to run through it. Well, you shut the door on me, the cunt. Yeah, just ignore happen. the enemies in this room. Just run past them. Where am I running the, to exactly? The open corridor that's marked by the light. Yeah, so this room mostly saps your suit power. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. It will, you know, it saps it at a rate that's not very desirable. Oh my god, stop moving! Fucker dodged. I'm surprised how slow the bolt moves from this thing. I mean, it is a crossbow, it's not gunpowder propelled. No, but I mean, like, crossbows move at some speed, and you can see that one traveling. Fair, fair. Oh, that's another thing with the crossbow that's, uh,. Did something happen? I'm, I'm just pausing for a sec. Okay, What's we're up? good. We're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. Let's go. It's another sort of downside to the crossbow. I've got a message like... for you. Make sure you don't... Oh! <laughs> what the fuck can I possibly kill This him? section. Oh, you'll see. Hmm. Maybe you want to save. Yeah, me. Oh, uh. Look out, Gordon! Hotted boobs up ahead! Tits! Big ones! Fuck off. So these oh. are the Black Ops. They are basically ninjas. They move really fast. They jump around, they dodge bullets, they have smarter AI than most enemies. They suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. At least there was health. They're also um, one of the few female enemies in the game, because this was the 1990s and you couldn't afford multiple character models yeah. for <laughs> an enemy. So if one's female, they're all female. That's really stupid. Is, is it just that I can't open this? What's Hold. happening? Okay. I was getting really confused. I was like, why do I have this big swiping motion and it only moved like an inch? That would be a good joke, though. <laughs> Surface access. I'm being ambushed. What the hell? I didn't expect this. I see it. No, it's good. Uh, right, we got I've been bagged. Where are we taking this Freeman guy? Upside for questioning. What the hell for? We got him. Let's kill him now. Uh, and if they find the body. Body? What body? <laughs> They're gonna fuck me to death. Why did your mind immediately go there? No, you've been Star wars -ed. Yay! I'm liking the way they made a really convenient little way out. 
very kind of them. Crowbar over there, I'm gonna go get it. So yes, you've been stripped of all your weapons. But, you have progressed the story. That Pretty blue cool. light signified the way forwards. Ah. So, the game's never done the, that before, so... I you go sure. down on the other side. On, on the other, by the ladder. I see that, I see that, yeah. Go down the ladder, Freeman, you fucking cock. Freeman, you fool! You can survive that drop, but not one that's like an inch. Residue processing. Is this the, the, the shit farms? Uh, in a way. I love the way they put the little thingies up, like, give me a hug. Come on. Yeah, let's they're go. fucking adorable. Also, you can destroy corpses. <laughs> Very necessary information. Also, if you look at that flow control meter, I like how it's just like a rectangle. As it goes down, it's just a rectangle inside that they're like sliding down through the geometry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's charming the way they do it. Okay. Water breaks your fall. I didn't realize that was and water. There is water at the bottom of that. It isn't water. I forgot. <laughs> um, you, hmm. I didn't save either. You dick. <laughs> it's water. I promise. Dies. <laughs> To be it fair, I water. didn't say that it was water. I just said that water breaks your fall, and you inferred. No, you that said that there's that water at the water. bottom. Can you prove it? I have it on recording. Of course, I can prove it. <laughs> you can't prove a thing. Take me to court. You won't. Come at me. Come at me. So I think what you have to do is. Uh, do the flow control. And speed. And ride it down. This mm -hmm. definitely isn't water. <laughs> I swear it's supposed to be water. <laughs> Maybe I'm just mis misremembering. Flashlight with air. Yeah. I got it, I got it. Don't forget to save. Little cockroaches. Oh. He ran away from you down the corridor. Okay, I'm gonna get in this vat of acid. Oh, actually, I'm supposed to get in this vat of acid. Nice. Okay, yeah, come back there's a that. few different ways you can go in this area. Yeah, he oh. didn't get very far. <laughs> oh. Becoming a free man. Yeah, the... And uh, if we're talking about Half-Life games, there is, of course, the unofficial. Um, Half-Life is one of the most modded games out there. Yeah, There I is a ladder so. around here to get back up. Yeah, it's one of the most modded games around. And... Here it's go. it's earned that. Sorry, I was just holding my breath, waiting for you to perish. <laughs> it's uh, Minecraft XP, get it! <laughs> You're gonna level up. <laughs> so, there there are of course mods of Half-Life, and some of them are really good. There's uh, stuff like Entropy Zero, if I recall correctly. There's Research and Development. There's 